Well, while it's been widely reported that the practice of hydraulic fracturing has been linked to a rise in small localized earthquakes, the growing frequency of these microquakes has more scientists as well as government officials concerned about the potential for a larger problem. In Oklahoma, for example, there have been so many daily quakes that state seismologists fear a bigger quake could be triggered. RT correspondent Manuel Rapolo has the details. When you think of Oklahoma, you might think of flat prairies or tornadoes, but you probably wouldn't associate the state with earthquakes. That's because historical records there have never shown much sign of seismic activity. But where the state used to average one or two small tremors annually, nowadays Oklahoma is rocked by two or three earthquakes every day, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The reason for the spike? Well, according to the research presented to the American Association for the Advancement of Science, it could all be due to a recent boom in new techniques for extracting oil and gas, specifically the practice known as hydraulic fracturing or fracking. But that's not all. According to leading seismologists in Oklahoma, these microquakes measuring upwards of 3.0 on the Richter scale could lead to bigger ones. Now, that's not to say that a massive earthquake is in store for the state in the near future, but the potential certainly exists. According to geophysicist William Ellsworth of the U.S. Geological Survey, the more small earthquakes we have, it just simply increases the odds we're going to have a more damaging event. He adds, of course, that the risk is still very low, about a 1 in 2,500 year chance of happening. What's not up for debate, however, is the frequency at which these microquakes are taking place. This animated map shows tremors in the state dating back to 2008. And consider that while California is notorious for earthquakes, in 2014, just last year, there were more tremors measuring 3.0 or higher in Oklahoma than anywhere else in the entire continental United States. And just four years ago, a 5.6 magnitude quake hit Prague, Oklahoma, shattering all previous records for the region. Other U.S. states where fracking is common have also recorded a spike in earthquakes believed to be linked to hydraulic fracturing. Now, the American oil and gas industry certainly carries a lot of clout, meaning that any debate about slowing down the practice of fracking remains a political one, even though more evidence continues to grow that links fracking not only with earthquakes, but with a whole host of negative impacts to the environment and to human health. Manuel Rapalo, RT Studios, Washington.